Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe, and today we are going to talk about and set up Pico 8 Gaming on the Anbernic RG351V. Stick around. If you haven't watched my previous video on the RG351V, I would recommend checking it out before watching this video. If you're already familiar with the Ambernic products, you're probably like me and, up until a few days ago at least, have no idea what the Pico 8 is or why you would even want to run it on your handheld. Pico 8 feels a lot like the Atari Lynx handheld, but rather new and improved. The games feel slick and smooth and really look great in a small screen form factor like the Ambernic device. There are hundreds of games to choose from, including exciting ports of classic arcade games like Phoenix, Qbert, Space Invaders, and Frogger, but also original game content. Most games are totally free, although some authors do accept donations and they totally deserve to get it. But what exactly is the Pico 8? Some classic game console or computer? Before we talk about how the Pico 8 works, let's talk about how emulation works on the Ambernic or really any other emulator device like it. Let's say you want to play the game Forbidden Forest. This was originally released on the Commodore 64 home computer. Or maybe you want to play Yars Revenge, a game that appeared on the Atari 2600 or VCS game console. The Commodore 64 played floppy disk games and the Atari 2600 played game cartridges. To play games for another system, you need a program called an emulator. For the Commodore 64 hardware, we have an emulator called Vice. To play Atari 2600 games, we need an emulator like Stella here. Each game must be converted into a file, often known as a disk image or ROM file. For the Commodore 64, this would be something like a D64 or CRT file. On the Atari 2600, the cartridge would be ripped into a bin file. Putting the emulators on the emulation device like the Ambernic here allows the device to play back the game images or ROMs once they are transferred over to the device's storage. Once all is said and done, you can now run Forbidden Forest on the Ambernic or save the universe playing Yars Revenge on our small screen handheld. Now that we know how most things work, let's compare and contrast how the Pico 8 works. You would like to play the 2021 remake of the arcade game Phoenix, which appears on the Pico 8 game system. We should need some emulator for this, right? Just like for the C64 and the Atari. And of course, you're going to need a rip of the original game into a file format that the emulator can play. Well, this is where things get very confusing. For starters, there's no such thing as a Pico 8 device. It doesn't exist. No, there was never a Pico 8 handheld console or computer. The Pico 8, according to the developers, is a fantasy console for making, sharing, and playing tiny games and computer programs. It feels like a regular console, but runs on Windows, Linux, Pi, and of course, the Ambernic handheld. So instead of an emulator, all we need is the Pico 8 software on our device. There is no emulation. It runs native. Once we have the software on the Ambernic, we need games to play too, right? Here's where things get even more weird. Remember the Commodore 64 used floppy disks and the Atari 2600 used game cartridges? Since there was no emulation involved, the Pico 8 should just use some sort of a game file, like a zip or an exe, right? Oddly enough, the Pico 8 games are distributed in the PNG image format. Right, the same format that you store pictures and graphics, PNG. In fact, the image you see here of the pseudo cartridge for the non-existent Pico 8, that graphic file is the actual game. Are you confused yet? When you go to the Pico 8 website and find a game you want, click on the little cartridge link underneath, which shows you the image. You right click and save image as, and the PNG, and hence the game itself, is saved to your computer. All you need to do is transfer it over to your Ambernic and you're ready to play. Now that we know the convoluted nature of the Pico 8 and how to get the games for it, let's talk about setting it up on the Ambernic itself. Out of the box, the Ambernic has a Pico 8 folder, but it isn't enough to play the games you copy over. Pico 8 is a paid program, and before we can play on any platform, we need to buy it. The cost is 15 US dollars. Just like the Pico 8 and its games, purchasing what you need is a bit convoluted too. 
It starts off at the Pico 8 website where you initiate the purchase by entering your email and selecting a payment method of credit card, PayPal, or Amazon. Once you've gone through the payment process, you are transferred to Humble Games. Right, the Humble Bundle people. You will get an activation code and a link to redeem it. Clicking the link takes you back to the Pico 8 website where you redeem the code and re-enter your email address. Once redeemed, you are given access to your downloads. The version you need isn't called Anbernic. You need the Raspberry Pi version. Once you download that, extract the contents to your Pico 8 folder on the Anbernic. Make sure you overwrite any existing files. We're now ready to bring our Phoenix Game PNG image over to our Anbernic. It still doesn't sound right when I say it. If you're not using a quality file manager like Directory Opus here, you may not see the full file extension, which in this case is .p8.png. I know, there are two file extensions. Copy your PNG games over to the Pico 8 folder. Since Pico 8 isn't visible by default, at least it wasn't for me, you will need to go into the main menu of the Anbernic, choose Game Collection Settings, then Systems Displayed. Now scroll down to Pico 8 and check mark it. Back out to your system UI and choose Pico 8. If you do not see your games, restart emulation station. The games should appear. Most have scrapable data from the Screen Scraper database, so if you want the metadata for the games, go ahead and scrape now. Remember, your purchase gives you access to the Windows and Linux version of Pico 8 as well, so you can download and run Pico 8 on your PC and play the same games on those devices as well. The Pico 8 is the perfect example of something new that is based on something old. It has a thriving community of developers, some great games, and it plays great on the Ambernic RG351V. Please don't pirate the Pico 8 software. It deserves to be paid for, and $15 is a no-brainer for the quality of the product. Remember, the game developers often accept optional compensation for their games, and if we want to encourage future development, let's show some love. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Pico 8. Please like, subscribe, hit that little bell to get future video release notifications. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care.